was in a Waffle House the other day, which is a small restaurant that's open 24 hours a day that has a counter. And if you sit at the counter and listen, you can hear a lot and learn a lot about life and about the way that people are living their lives. Well, one person on one side was complaining about their problems that they had. Another person on the other side of me voiced in and said, yes, I've had that problem too, and started to compare how bad their problems were, as if it were a contest. And I know from watching these two, as they started to talk and talk and talk and talk about the problems that they had in their body, that they did not enjoy their lunch. Matter of fact, they probably were sicker than they were before they started to talk. What a spiritual power it is when we realize that we have the power to affirm health, not to affirm sickness. And when we affirm health, there are a million cells within our body that perk up and are listening and are waiting, wanting to respond in a good way. It says in Proverbs 14, verse 30, a tranquil mind, now listen to this, tranquil mind gives life. What does it give life to? To the flesh. A mind that is not agitated within itself gives life life to your body and to your mind and to your soul. It is wonderful how quickly the body responds to a thought of life and health and how we can feel a full glow of health instantly if we're holding the right thought just closing our mind to outer things and holding the thought that we are perfect manifestations of God, that God created us and is recreating us continuously, will often heal our body of its diseases. We don't hold thoughts of illness. We don't hold thoughts of weakness. We don't allow that to remain in the mind. We hold to the thought that we are a perfect manifestation of God creation. And in this, we think tranquil thoughts. Now, what happens when we think tranquil thoughts? Like it says, a tranquil mind gives life. Well, our mind is not like this. Our mind is not all tensed up. It relaxes, it opens And it is ready to receive the life-giving flow of continuous recreation from God. We're able to hold tranquil thoughts, thoughts of life, pure, wholesome, ever-renewing, ever-vitalizing life, instead of having them bounce off of us because they can't get in. And when we do this, We keep in mind that we're made in the image and the likeness of God. Now, that's biblical. And we're an expression of perfect life. We think in our mind in terms of health, in terms of strength, in terms of energy. And the body responds. It will feel the flow of health instantly. Today I ask you to affirm your health, to affirm life, to affirm health, to affirm that perfect health is yours continuously. And I bless you in that perfect health. I bless you in that perfect life. I bless you with all of God's good.